everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, then welcome to you. We're going to be reading for the lovely Virgos. So Virgo, this week I've pulled out some starter cards for you. And pulling the starter cards out, I did do some little bit of meditative poetry as well, which I will read in a second. But I'm just going to go through the cards to start with. Your overall energy this week came out as the Courage card. And on the back of this card, it says, take the leap. Your courage will see you through. We have the Ten of Wands. The universe wants to show you as this, this week, okay? Which I will go over in a second and clarify that one. The Knight of Pentacles came out next. And the Animal Spirit card was the Mouse, which is the alchemical sign of Earth. So when I pulled these cards out, the words that came to me were battling with your inner strength, trying to find the courage to learn to say no. Too much burden and responsibility. Burdens making you slow. Stumbling in the dark, trying to find the light. Feeling insignificant to others. Simply out of sight, out of mind. And so the battle begins. Walk away, be the jury. Guarantee to win. Okay, so that was quite a deep message there for you. So... The Courage card, the overall energy, it was, it's the energy of struggles, defending, um, it's like defending your, like an argument. It's like there's an argument going on where you're trying to defend your actions or your responsibilities and you're not going to be, you're not going to be budged Virgo on this. It's like to say... I'm right, I've carried the burden on my shoulders because we look at the Ten of Wands. I've burdened, I've shelved this responsibility. You could have been protecting somebody as well. Like you've took the brunt on and you have been protecting somebody or guiding somebody through a situation. Because the Universe card comes out here as though you've been shelving, you've been carrying somebody's else's burdens you've been helping somebody uh, through a situation but the universe is saying you've got to lessen this load hence why the ten of wands has come out as well and in my meditative poetry when I said and so the battle begins walk away be the jury guaranteed a win the win is for you the win is to get rid of this responsibility um whoever you're sort of helping or have been trying to guide through a situation i mean you could have had a, a family member who's been in trouble and strife or you know not been well with their health and they then the responsibility gets all on your shoulders or on the shoulders of somebody in your family and you're thinking i'm not having my family member be the backbone all the time there's other people who can help here why should it all be burdened on one person's shoulders because then the knight of pentacles comes in and this is like being prepared for battle okay and i want to say it's preparing for battle to protect somebody's health situation because of all the green in this card the mouse comes out as in a grounding energy being an earth element but again a mouse in the cards is always coming out as insignificant so there's a situation being going on around some of my virgos if it's not you directly it's somebody close in your energy field where somebody has been taken for granted you have seen that or you know yourself you've been taken for granted and one burden, one responsibility after another, after one dilemma, after another, after sorting out one thing to another. And it's just like, you know what? <laughs> this has got to stop. And why the Knight of Pentacles comes in, I'm ready to address this to protect my own health or to protect the health of somebody around me. So let's go into it a little bit further and we'll clarify the messages and see what else comes out for you so 
let's clarify the courage card to start with what else have we got for virgo I feel like that one there for you so we've got the five of swords okay now the five of swords here if you look at the actual art of the card the artwork of the card the five of swords again on the defense again carrying a burden under his arms of the weight of the responsibilities and people have been hurt through this okay if we look in the background of this card so this is why you are standing your ground and saying no more I am not allowing this. I'm not allowing others of my family or friends or what, whatever it, the situation is to be hurt or burden the responsibility. And you are facing this head on this week. Okay. It could be where you're standing your ground in a job uh, aspect where people have been getting on, on, been getting on your back and, and sort of slating you or slating your team and saying you're not putting the effort in, you're not doing the workload. And you're thinking, hang on a minute, <laughs> we're, working, we're working to the bone here. We're working ourselves ragged. And I'm not going to be speak, you know, you're not going to be spoken to that and you will take it further for some of you. If it's to do with a, a relationship, I feel that one of you has been taking on all the responsibility. Um, more so than the other and this is where you come on the defensive of I can't do everything I understand you you've got work ethics as well but I am I am going under here I'm sinking with all the responsibility so it's this kind of energy vibe okay um, that I am feeling sorry if you can hear the washing machine in the background guys my washing machine's just kicked on so so we're going to clarify the Ten of Wands. So we'll get another card out for the Ten of Wands. And we have the Page of Cups. Okay. Now the Page of Cups here is, I look at it as the messenger. Okay. Um, delivering a message to somebody. This is where your speech will come out. Your, you have a, a, a verbal argument with somebody in order to get your point across. OK, so where this is just clarifying the Ten of Wands energy here, where you've got the person, if it's not you, who's shelving all this responsibility and the Page of Cups comes in as reasoning. There's two sides of an argument here with the two seahorses in this picture. And it's like both sides need to be heard and there's got to be mediation. OK, there's mediation here that needs to be done uh, between two parties. It could be three, four parties if it's a work ethic, if, if it's a team where somebody needs to get a point across and it's like to try and get a happy medium. So the Page of Cups comes in as a happy medium. So let's have a look at the Universe card, um, how that's going to be clarified this week for you. What else have we got going on for Virgo? And we have the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords comes through to clarify the universe card of this is what you want back in your life, Virgo. You want peace. OK, you don't need the animosity. You want to cut out things where it's bringing ill feeling and causing an emotional uh, upset because of the I'll go again with the colour of blue. OK, so. The Ace of Swords here is saying you are cutting this out. You're cutting out the responsibilities um, that have been shelved on you. And all you want to get back in is the peace factor. Okay. So we've got the Knight of Pentacles next. So I'm just going to clarify that card for you. So Knight of Pentacles. We can have a clarifier for the Knight of Pentacles and we have the Chariot moving forward okay um, again we've got this essence of two sides because we've got the two Pharaohs here and 
you're trying to get um, a happy medium, a happy balance. Things are moving forward. You will, you will progress with this situation that is causing you a lot of upset and a lot of um, tension. I just feel a lot of tension around you, Virgo. So let's clarify the mouse card for you. What have we got to coming out? Clarifying for the little wee little mousey. Wee little mouse. And we have the nine of cups. Okay. And if you look at the nine of cups here, the nine of cups comes out, Berg, in a, a celebration of at last, we're all singing off the same hymn sheet. We're all, we all have a significant role to play. Okay. Because I look at mouse and it's like to say, to sh um, trying to shed light on a subject that um, somebody was just missing the point, basically. Missing the point, but this Nine of Cups comes through as a, um, a sort of a salute of, yes, we're both, we're all singing, or we're both singing off, or we're all singing off the same hymn sheet at last. Okay, we can put a toast to that, and we've got somewhere to focus and move forward. And it's interesting how the mouse has showed up in this card here as well. Um, and the window has been opened in this card. So it's like to say you are no longer insignificant. We can see you for what has been going on, for what you have been doing. And we say sorry, okay? We're sorry that it got to this stage. And it's like, let's, you know, bygones be bygones and let's turn over a new page and let's forge your head forward with a new clean slate. So, let's get your Moon Phases card then for this week. What? Oh, that definitely wants to come out before I even shuffled them. Oh, wow. And I can see why as well. Virgo. I can see why that just wanted to hop out the pack. Look, peace. Harmony. Balance. At last. The arguments. The frustration. The anger as well. Can all start to disappear and you get yourself in a more peaceful environment so that's beautiful and that's why that wanted to flip out for you i'm just going to get another animal spirit card for you then virgo as well so let's just get another animal spirit card for virgo wow look and it's the alchemical sign of fire and it's ants the fire ants as in, you take something apart, it's like taking the nucleus, okay, um, focusing around the importance, in a metaphorical sense, of the ant nest would be the queens, okay, the, the larvae, which obviously come out as new queens, and it's like concentrating, getting the priority the priorities right and having the support as well to get to the nucleus of the problem okay tending to what's important so that's why the fire ants come out for you in that reading so just to finish it off for this week virgo i'm just going to read your spiritual messages from your nearest and dearest in the spirit world and see what they would like to say to you this week and we have memories and it says, your memories are like diamonds in the treasure chest of your spirit. More and more memories are arising within you. Remember the happier moments with your loved ones who are here in spirit. Who are here in the spirit world. For neither time nor distance can stop the energy of love that you have for one another. And the memories comes out because... This week, it could be an anniversary of someone who has passed into the spirit world and they just come out with this card to remind you of that for some of my Virgos. The other link is to say sometimes we can dwell too much on um, past situations. We can hold grudges too much and it's about forgiveness. And I feel that's why the memories card has come out in this instance, as in let's forgive what's happened 
and move on because the focus of this reading this week was two cards here towards the end and that was the peace card and the chariot of moving forward so my lovely virgos i hope you can take something from that message this week don't forget to check out your moon and rising signs and i will look forward to seeing i will look forward to seeing you next time take care bye